it's 17 weeks now until Copenhagen Marathon. I'm coming off a bit of a knee injury um, and I had a bit of a break from running over the Christmas period. So I'm not feeling super fit at the moment, but I want to spend the next 30 days just focusing on building back my fitness um, and getting ready for some harder marathon training. My marathon PB at the moment is three hours, 20 minutes and 20 seconds. So my primary goal for Copenhagen is to beat that, to run a PB. But my real time goal for this marathon is a three hour and 15 minute marathon. It's a cold one today, heading out on the trails for about an hour. But right now where I am, I haven't felt this unfit in quite a long time. So for the next 30 days, I've got a few goals that I think will help me move in the right direction. My biggest concern for the marathon right now is my endurance. So I wanna get back to long runs on a Sunday. So my primary goal is to do a two and a half hour long run this month. Today, it seems to be too cold for the GoPro. <laughs> it keeps cutting out. It keeps thinking the battery's dead when it's not. <sighs> might, see, might have to carry this on when I get back. I would also love to run a sub 20 minute 5k. That would be a hard effort for me right now, but it wouldn't necessarily be a race pace max effort, but it would give me a big good baseline understanding of where my fitness is going into the marathon training block. It's really nice and calm and peace out here today. I feel like I'm making good progress, but yeah, definitely not as fit as I was two months ago not even close to be honest i have uh, entered an ultra marathon in february uh, just because i had the time had the weekend free and i thought i fancied it so signed up to do freedom racings uh north downs ridge 50k you know it's probably not the most ideal prep for copenhagen marathon but yeah it'd be good fun and you know it'll be a good indicator of endurance at that point the Garmin's saying my heart rate is 181, which I don't think so. Just struggle a bit in the cold at the wrist based heart rate. An hour and a half in now, just heading back down into Winchester. I feel like I've lost a lot of conditioning in my body. So just getting out on the trails is gonna really help with the marathon and what is it like four months, give or take. Yeah, pretty happy with how this is going to be honest. I had pretty low expectations for myself today. That was good. 21K in just over two hours. So it's now the middle of January and at the moment I feel like I'm still really, really unfit. I'm slowly making progress, but definitely the return to fitness is taking longer than I've experienced previously. And I don't know whether that's because I'm still worried about my knee and therefore my running form isn't great, but uh, and I haven't done any hard speed sessions, but whatever it is, um, it definitely feels like it's slow progress at the moment. Super happy that I managed to get a two hour long run in. Um, so yeah, I do feel like two and a half hours isn't gonna be totally unrealistic. I was absolutely wrecked though, after my two hour run today, like, you know, proper low energy exhaustion. Um, so maybe I needed a few more calories before and, and during, I think key for me over the next week or two is to start getting some harder speed work in um, and, and really test the body to see how it responds, to see where it is. Time for a Saturday threshold session. Just heading over to the car park where uh, I do sessions with the club every Tuesday. The goal today is just to do about three or four K at threshold pace, starting to ease back into the speed work now. And uh, this week was the first week I've been able to do speed work without any knee problems. So yeah, really, really good sign. I'm gonna try and aim for about uh, four minutes 20 per kilometer. First kilometer was four minutes and 26 seconds, easing into it. 421 for the second K. Oh, I think I'm going to take a rest now, probably walk for 90 seconds and then try and do another 2K. Just slowly getting used to this kind of pace, this intensity. Right, here we go. Another 2K at threshold. Third K at 420. Oh, it's getting a bit hard now. Oh, 
last K was about uh, four minutes, 27 seconds. <sighs> Not a great session, but good enough for now. But oh, so happy I'm getting back to doing these harder sessions. Two weeks ago, I just wasn't sure it was going to be possible. I'm pretty confident now I'm going to be able to have a proper marathon training block going into Copenhagen, which is, yeah, amazing. Time for a little cool down jog before it goes dark. But yeah, big run tomorrow, two hours. Going to do the same run I did last week, so it'll be nice to be able to compare the two, see how I'm progressing. I really am seeing like progress week on week, so yeah it's really nice this is the best bit about returning to fitness after a bit of a break you just see progress so much quicker it rained overnight but it's a beautiful morning now warmest day we've had in a while so this is nice so yeah just heading out on the two hour loop that i did last weekend this ground is like wet muddy clay. It's so hard to run on. All the mud sticking to the bottom of my shoes. This might be harder work than I expected. Just heading up onto the South Downs now. I am struggling a bit with the hills at the moment. Fitness is slowly coming back, but yeah, definitely don't have the, uh, the fitness to run up these steeper muddy hills. Fifty minutes into the run now. It's super quiet out here. So nice today. It's supposed to be a big storm coming later, so decided to get out early. I feel like the fitness is really improving at the moment. My body's quite sore at the moment after this week's training. I guess that's the effect of building back some harder speed work. Probably not going to increase the volume next week. Just kind of keep keep it out of what it is. I feel like my fitness has come back significantly when I'm running flat on the road but uh yeah hilly trails still need a bit more work the endurance really isn't there at the moment um, like my energy levels right now are much lower than they should be for uh 50 minutes into a trail run once i get to the top of this hill it's mostly downhill into winchester now <laughs> 20 minutes to go I've been uh, still listening to Swedish on the uh, runs, slowly making progress. I feel like I'm starting to understand a lot more than I definitely, definitely more than I could two or three months ago. I'm all right with reading Swedish, but like listening to it and, and uh, speaking it is definitely still something that I'm working on. I reckon I know between like one or 2,000 Swedish words now, but most of that's from reading. So hard work learning a leader language. Oh, pretty happy with that. Another two hour long run banked. Um, same route as last week, took a few minutes longer, but my heart rate was significantly lower. And tomorrow I'm joining the club for a threshold session. So this will be my first week where I'm doing like two hard training sessions in a week. So yeah, I really feel like from a fitness perspective, I've turned a massive corner. Um, and I think that I'm barely thinking about my knee now uh, when I'm out running. So I'm pretty confident now that I'll be able to have like a proper marathon, high volume marathon training block, which yeah, a few weeks ago I was like convinced that I'd be struggling with a knee injury for, for the next few months. But yeah, I'm really, really happy that I've kind of turned the corner and now I can start to think about that two and a half hour long run and maybe think about going for like a hard 5K effort at some point in the next week or so. Um, so yeah, very, very nice progress. It's a beautiful bright red sunrise this morning heading out for my two and a half hour long run this morning so this is the big test today <laughs> 30 minutes in just going to take it super easy today the goal is just get to uh two and a half hours but this is the best morning we've had in weeks. Oh, stunning. These long runs over the last few weeks, I've been getting them done, finishing them, but 
afterwards they've been absolutely wrecking me so for like the remainder of the day my energy levels have just been on the ground so yeah I'm really hoping today that the fitness is starting to come back the endurance is coming back and therefore this long run doesn't affect me as much as they have over the last few weeks I feel like I'm definitely moving better over the trails at the moment a couple of weeks ago this run running on this path two weeks ago was a bit of a struggle but uh, yeah it seemed to be covering the ground better which is a really good sign this week's been a really really solid training week so I had a speed session on Tuesday with some 500 meter sprints on Thursday I had threshold with the club which was like three by ten minute at threshold so yeah two sessions and a long run yeah proper training week yeah I think from now onwards it will just be continuing to push the speed work and trying to increase my weekly volume It's been a while since I got this far out on the South Downs. Oh. That's an hour and 15, so heading back to Winchester now. Still got my Swedish going on the headphones, so I feel like I'm starting to make progress now. An hour and 40 in, been running about 17 kilometers so far. Today will be about 25k. Um, but yeah, time for another gel to give me a bit of energy to get back. <laughs> 25k in two and a half hours. Oh, so good to finally get back to these long runs. Oh, really, really happy with that. <sighs> now I've just got to get the uh, 5k hard effort done at some point in the next week and that'll be a big success for this block of training today's going to be a good test I'm going to try and run a hard 5k effort oh right that's a nice 3k warm up done now it's time to get into it I'm going to set off about 21 minute 5k pace and then just try and push the pace and, and see how I get on but yeah long time since I did a hard 5k effort Right, first K at four minutes and eight seconds. Oh, yeah. Just easing into it now. Oh, I definitely feel the thing holding me back at the moment is my leg strength. Like picking up lots of little niggles a lot, a lot more regularly than I normally do. Yeah, I just need to build up my strength, I think, over the next month. Oh, that second K, 4.19 per kilometre but oh yeah it's a lot harder than I expected there were some small hills on that but still oh, not even halfway yet oh, 413 for the third K a bit better but oh this is hard really really struggling Oh. oh god, didn't have it in me today. Oh. Three and a half K. Tell you what, it's been a successful month. Got my endurance back, but yeah. Really need to work on speed work, so oh, that's gonna be the focus for the next month. My body's sore from that pace. Oh. And I wasn't really running that fast, so yeah. Definitely work to do. Oh, all right, well, on to the next month. Now time to get into proper marathon training, but yeah, cheers for watching. Bye.